Here I've got a standard Windows 11 24H2 build. It's been built in VMware, so you might occasionally see the VMware logo spring across the screen. Very standard install. Now obviously for the sake of the video, I have very much sped up the installation process. Although Windows setup is somewhat quicker than it used to be with all the versions. So again you can see I've sped this up. What we're ultimately heading for is the section where you set up your logon credentials. And the aim of this exercise is to bypass the need to require a Microsoft uh, account to log on to Windows 11. Now if I just go through the standard setup procedure here on UK keyboards, layout, we don't want to add any secondaries. Again I've sped up the reboots. Now you'll get to this point where it requires a Microsoft sign-in if you press Shift F10 or Function Shift F10 if you're on a Mac and then type in the following command start space ms dash cxh colon local only and what that will do is it will fire off the GUI interface that you used to see when you install Windows so that you can set up a local account to so set up your username and your password and it won't let you click next until you've answered the security questions so this is just a throwaway PC that I'm using for the purpose of this video. So. Famous Bob from Bobtown. Or Little Bobby as he used to be known. Now what you will see is, is it interrupts the out of box experience and it starts as if it was creating a new profile for you don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and now you've got to go through what I call the annoying stage of the out of box experience where you have to tell no I don't want to give part of my soul to Microsoft I don't want you snooping or getting any data on anything that I'm doing except no I don't want tailored data either and you'll see it will go straight into Windows and if I go down there over my username you will see it specifically says it's a local account but to prove this isn't all smoke and mirrors if I just log out I can log back in with my local account without the need to have created a Microsoft account Thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to come and visit us at www.petenetlife.com. Thanks again.